Welcome to 24K Movies and Reviews and TV Shows as well as Games and we are reviewing the Overdue series from Amazon, Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power and I'm sorry but it has to be said, I don't get all the hate that this series got it did something that I've never seen before it's had groundbreaking moments it was probably one of the strongest series in 2022 and visually it is the best looking TV series I have ever seen when they say they spared no expense and spent a billion dollars on this series I can clearly see where that money went this is CGI done correctly right and strong it is visually stunning it is graphically impressive and it is one of the strongest TV series that I've ever seen having said that there are so many viewpoints on it so if you're not feeling this turn the page turn the channel this is just the game ninjas review this is 24k review of one of our series and I am a fan of Tolkien and the rings of power Okay, so there is the good, there is the bad, and there is the ugly. So let's start off with the ugly. I had none. Say what you want. You can literally verbatim go along to any episode at any moment, shape, point. 100% great from every aspect. Every aspect is great. Now, you have fans of the story, storyline and source material. Oh, this wasn't done correct. That wasn't done correct. Uh, it didn't look like this. It didn't look like that. It didn't have this. It didn't have that. Uh, that can't be this character. That can't be that character. There's so much anger and anguish with this series that it makes me sometimes want to vomit because we didn't have to have this series. We did not have to have it at all. They did not have to give it to us. Somebody did not have to spend a billion dollars to give us the ring of power, the rings of power. Somebody did not have to do that, but they did. And in saying that, from episode one, though slow at times, but you remember, you're establishing a story. My biggest problem with the Lord of the Rings movies, in case you didn't know, was the pacing because everything moves so quick so everything jumps so fast you're here and now you're here and then you're here and now you're here this is a tv series so it's not a fast food meal it is a culinary cuisine experience which means they have to introduce a character for you to know the character for you to care about the character and care about ultimately what happens to the character now there are very few characters in this series that is still alive in the modern Lord of Lord of the Rings adaptations because this takes place so far in the past but there is source material that they were allowed to draw from and source material they were allowed not to draw from for what they were allowed to do and how they went about it uh, case in point Celebrimbor Everybody has so much bullshit to say about Celebrimbor. Oh, it wasn't like this in the books. It wasn't like that in the books. And I understand that. And I am the biggest, biggest villain when it comes to adaptation. Because I'm like, why can't you just leave it alone and tell the story? I get it. That thought is not lost on me. It's not over my head. But having said that, what they were allowed to use, they worked with. And this version of Celebrimbor still went the same route that you guys understood um, the series I can't say enough about from episode to episode I hated waiting week to week like I wish you would just give us the thing to binge watch like I hate that they're turning streaming into television again where you have to wait week to week for content I so miss the days of some dropping on one day and you can binge watch the entire series that is, I am a binger. I love binge watching. Like, give me all the episodes. 
give me the precious, give me all the episodes in one time so I can eat it and nah, enjoy it. And trust me, if it's a good series, I will watch it again and again and again and again and again and again and again. So this is a series I watched again, 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 and again. The long episodes I actually loved. I mean, it's had some Dragon Ball moments where you go from intense action to people talking, and I do kind of hate that. But having said that, there's very little I can take away from the Rings of Power. Um, it was casting beautifully. Um, I loved who they chose for these characters, and I, I understood why they chose them. Uh, Elrod, um, you can't have a CG younger Hugo Weaving, I understand it, but who they chose, remember, we're talking about two separate entities here, we're not talking about the same entities, though it's the same intellectual properties, they're separate, completely separate. The Hobbit fed into the Lord of the Rings Peter Jackson. This is not a Peter Jackson vehicle. This is completely separate. This is a standalone. This is on its own. And because of that, I enjoy it much more. I enjoy it because for once I didn't get just spectacle. I got story. And the Lord of the Rings movie, I'm not taking away from them. They're great. But if you notice, in order for you to get the greatest parts of those movies, you have to watch the special extended editions of them. You're talking about four and a half hours each movie. Now you're talking about four, eight, twelve. You're talking about twelve hours of binge watching three movies. Now you're talking about 24 hours if you include The Hobbit. That's a lot. But when you saw those movies, you didn't spend four hours in the movie theaters. No, you didn't. They cut down for content. The reason why I like the extended version of those is because it actually tells you more story. It actually gives you more of a meal and more volume. That's what this TV series did. It gave you volume, verbatim. It introduced you and stepped you into a world show you how that world moves then it showed you the things in that world undercutting it and overthrowing it and unseating what was happening at the time now during this series remember that great evil had already been there he was already there and already defeated one time remember this this takes place when he was actually defeated like a lot of people don't understand that like this goes so far back like uh, Sauron, Saruman, the wizards, the, the great wizards, the two blue wizards like there's so much story to draw from and season one concentrated on you getting to know how that power came back into authority and I think they did it brilliantly a lot of you may not agree but once again start your channels give me your take on it and I'll speak on it I'm just giving you the honest visual from seeing now Lord of the Rings Rings of Power it helps if you know the story it helps if you know the lore but it's not commanded of you it's something you can watch by itself without knowing the characters or what happened or the storyline or what led to that and that's one of the things I like that's great storytelling if you can watch a series and come into it not knowing anything about anything that happens and still enjoy it that makes it great this was a great series hands down Amazon you struck gold it is every bit worth that one billion dollars price tag that you put on it and you know what I'll be there for season two I'll be there as long as you run it uh, like I said it is a spectacle a spectacle of a TV series the the lighting the design the the sets the cinematography the scope the music the intro and a lot of times when you see intros that that sink or swim sometimes but sometimes it holds on to it uh, like Game of Thrones -na -na -na, -na 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 -na. you know what that was but then when it came out which I also have to say Along the same time that they were doing that, a week before that new House of the Dragon Game of Thrones series had started. So this started a week after, which made Game of Thrones kind of run end and end with them. And if you ask me, quite honestly, I'll tell you, I liked Rings of Power volumes above the House of the Dragon. And for a simple fact, 
I knew who the character was. I know who the characters were in Amazon's Rings of Power, Lord of the Rings TV series. When it came to Game of Thrones, House of the Dragon, dude, every few episodes you were time jumping, changing actresses, changing actors, changing plots, changing, like, literally so much that if I watched one or two episodes and then came back three episodes later, I'm like, who the hell is that? Wait, who are they? Wait a minute, who, who is this? What's happening now? Like, it, you literally jumped. I've never seen so many time jumps and actors and actress changes in one series in my entire life. And I know you guys were just strapped for time and you were trying to mash as much as you can together to give people the story. I get that. I understand it. I'm not saying your series was horrible. I'm saying it was confusing as shit. Damn sure confusing. But uh, Rings of Power, the Lord of Rings, Rings of Power, Amazon series, didn't have to do anything that. Like, I, I was able to follow it. It was, it was easy. The character you had at episode one was done in episode six, episode seven. Like, you could see that. Like, okay, it's simple. Um, but we're not here to talk about <sighs> Game of Thrones. That is a whole other video. Stick around for that. We're going to do that one as well. We're going to talk about Rings of Power. Um, I like the elves that were introduced i like the characters and i don't i don't get the whole hate of black elf thing because that's become so large now like i don't get it guys like you do realize these are fantasy worlds with very vast different characters from different walks of life from different realms and different beings occasionally there will be people of color in there somewhere guys i don't know why you have such a problem with people of color um i hate to say it um there were black elves sorry just like uh, I mean this has become such a big thing like you 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 would think with all the series Star Wars uh, Disney Marvel Lord of the Rings like why do people have such problems with people of color being involved in these worlds like ah uh, bruh I don't get it my, my heart weeps for you guys because one of the best characters hands down in this series was a black elf and i'm i'm like i'm going to give as less spoilers as i can because i really don't i'd really want you to go and watch it yourself and form your own opinion because a lot of people watch things based off of other people's opinions and some people are full of shit some people are trolls and some people are full of shit trust your own self give your own self the ability to see what it is and judge for yourself um I found so many different series, movies, and things that everybody said completely sucked, and I've I've enjoyed them. Just because people are inherently a little through by their own personal experiences, wants, prejudices, uh, biased, they judge these things based on themselves, and a lot of these things aren't given fair shots. Um, a lot of series, a lot of movies, a lot of things have been canceled over people's dumbass ideas and ideals. Um, having said that, being the devil's advocate, I'll play both sides of the field. When you saw Sonic Trailer 1 for the first Sonic movie, we did not like it. And the people spoke and they went in and changed it. And it became a better project. It became a better thing. So just playing devil's advocate, it works both ways. Yeah, it does. And yeah, it doesn't. In this case, it doesn't because there's so many people who call themselves fans of the source material who absolutely hated it. And I am a fan of the source material. I've read the books. I've played the games. And nothing makes you closer than when you play the games because you're actually putting yourself into the story. So you remember things a lot more. You understand things and get things a lot more because you're a part of that universe. With a movie, it's a first person point of view. With a game, you're in it. So there's a different viewpoint of gamers. And I spoke to roughly about 100 to 200 gamers, and I haven't found one of them that didn't like the series. So, yeah, there's that. But I like how evil was allowed to endure, how just the arrogance of elves and people and beings have the audacity of thinking that evil is done with as long as they're as good as there's evil long as there is light there is dark there's a duality in both there is a balance to it and most of the time people of light can be overconfident and very foolhardy over their authority 
over things. And this, unfortunately, is how a lot of the time they're overthrown. You see this in Star Wars when they were blind to the dark side. You've seen it in Marvel when they didn't understand the idea of Thanos or power or stones. It's, it's a reoccurring role pretty much in everything. Good versus evil, bad versus good, light versus dark. Uh, the Lord of the Rings saga is literally the same. Tolkien had a very expansive massive world so the fact that this is just one of the stories that connects into that main avenue bravo i give you credit i give you all due credit it made me want to watch the lord of the rings movies and this is what i don't get peter jackson has um verbally shown his disdain for this series and this series wanted something to do with him but he didn't want nothing to do with it and the funny part is watching the rings of power makes you want to watch the lord of the Rings series so they go hand in hand because they're a part of the same universe it just sucks that these two conglomerates couldn't work together to achieve a spectacle and that's what really makes me angry that you weren't allowed to feed into your universe to help this project get off and I understand you want to do movies that's all you're into is movies and you have that project and X spectacle I give it to you like I said I like the Lord of the Rings series it was an amazing series but on the same token that time has come and gone and passed and unless you're going to forgive the expression my uh, grandmother used to always say you're either going to shit or get off the pot and you were on the pot what were you doing you didn't shit so get off of it this series was taking a shit so it came along and it did and with the time frame when I first heard of the series I was intrigued and I wanted to see it and as closer we got to it actually releasing I was on pins and needles and from the first episode here's my engagement I will take my phone and if I'm watching a new series and I'll be doing stuff I'll be on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube looking at stuff and I'll look back and forth at the movie look back and forth at the movie if the movie or TV series can get my attention enough that I have to click that little phone off and lean forward and start watching it has my total attention and that is what on episode one the rings of power did for me I was flipping through and telling people I'm watching rings of power watching rings of power this is gonna be good it's going down it's gonna be good going down and then I kept catching and then I clicked that power off on the phone and I set it down and I'm watching and I literally didn't say one word for the next hour of the series didn't say one word I was watching four different lifestyles characters types of characters dwarves um, what became known as the hobbits the world of man um, there, there were just so many things happening at the same time but I was being fed a meal and I wanted to taste the entire meal and waiting for episode two was murder but I did it and I like the fact a great series when you get to the end of the episode it leaves you wanting more like you literally want more you want to see more like it, it's craving and I like that this series did that you can say whatever you want to about it the series clearly has intrigue and depth and world and this is the thing about stories people don't understand great stories pull you into them we as a human being one of the faces of the human nature is storytelling because we want to be entertained we want to be drawn into worlds of intrigue despair heroics like we want that because there's something in us that piece of that storyteller we like stories we want stories that's all movies television games are their opportunities to tell stories the great stories the horrible stories the funny stories the romantic stories the evil stories the scary stories they're all stories and this is what the human heart mind and soul collective jump on board to the reason why Walking Dead was so popular as long as it was is because we were caught up in that story that the directors writers everybody in that whole cinema aspect have to pull you in and hold that and that is the reason why this series gets a platinum hands down no equivocations a platinum 
Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power, Amazon series is platinum. That's all I'm going to say. Go and watch it, form your own opinions, and I guarantee you, you will enjoy the living shit out of it. Platinum. I'm Rain. This is 24K Films, Movies, Reviews, and Games. And thank you for joining us. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And drop a like in the comments. Let me know how you feel. I'll check you out next time.